Former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan has said in an interview from his jail cell he would prioritize promoting an inclusive and nurturing environment to produce emotionally resilient leaders for the future. If elected as Oxford Chancellor, Mr Khan is amongst 30 candidates who are vying for the position of Chancellor for the world's most prestigious university. Mr Khan has pledged to champion free speech in higher education. Quote, I would use my platform to advocate fiercely for academic freedom, ensuring that Oxford remains a sanctuary for open debate, free from external pressures that may stifle the pursuit of truth." Unquote. Around 250,000 university staff and alumni will vote in the election next month. Illegally incarcerated former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan on Monday criticized the recent constitutional amendments by the military government, saying they are designed to keep him imprisoned and undermine the judiciary. During an informal conversation with journalist Atta Diala Jail during the secret jail trial, Mr Khan expressed concerns that the establishment of a constitutional court is a move driven by fear of the Supreme Court's authority and to hide electoral fraud. Quote, this has all been done to cover up the election fraud. They are scared that if the election is opened up, everything will be reversed. Unquote. Mr Khan has now been illegally incarcerated for 408 days. Pakistan's legal fraternity has termed the proposed quote-unquote constitutional package a series of constitutional amendments that, among other things, aim to fix the Chief Justice of Pakistan's tenure for three years an assault on the constitution. Members of the Pakistan Bar Council have said, quote, in view of the unprecedented proposed assault on the constitution, the Supreme Court and the High Courts in the form of a purported judicial package, we do not accept this violation of the constitution and the independence of the judiciary proposed by a parliament that lacks the people's mandate, unquote. The Balochistan Bar Council, the home bar council for the current Chief Justice, said, Qazi Faiz Isa will be remembered as the worst chief justice in the history of Pakistan. The occupational Israeli forces continue its deadly assault across Gaza, killing at least five people at a bakery in Al Mawasi, ten in Nazareth camp, as well as targeting Gaza cities Zetun and Sheikh Radwan neighborhoods, where another ten people, including children, were killed. With the attack on the bakery, there are now fears of a famine, with five of the existing six bakeries forced to shut down due to the Israeli occupation army's tight embargo of essential commodities entry, including fuel into the strip. Quote, the supply of critical ingredients such as flour, sugar and yeast has been significantly reduced for nearly a month, unquote. Kamal Ajor, a bakery owner, said. We're witnessing severe lack of fuel and they're also being threatened of shutting down their services. We're talking about the Nasser Hospital in Rafah and in Khan Yunis and also the hospitals in the middle area where every hospital needs at least 4,000 Palestinians amid the talks and negotiations of ceasefire. As long as those Palestinians do not see any change on the ground, there is nothing positive about